It's always been a changing place, but it's probably never changed more than now. In the last few years, incomes are up. More people are college educated. Crime is down, but not as much as it could be. And rents and housing costs are higher. We're students at MS-25. <laughs> right in the middle of the neighborhood. Hey! We wonder what the people who work and live here think of the changes in East Harlem. I can't live without East Harlem. I'll, I'll probably get sick if they remove me from East Harlem. I've been living in this area for the past 30 years. This neighborhood means home for me. There's been uh, a lot of improvement, new construction. A lot of new people have come into the uh, neighborhood. It's quite a drastic change. When we started seeing the development happen, it was very exciting. People need housing and have needed housing in East Harlem for a very long time. Once we started realizing that the development, what, how much they would cost, to live in one of those developments. Uh, we started quickly realizing that these developments were not made for people who live in East Harlem. I'm a recent college grad. I'm just starting out my job. So, I mean, I don't really have much money. It's a lot cheaper than living in Midtown. So, I like it so far. Everything has calmed down. Consistently, uh, less and less crime. Thanks a lot, Jim. There seems to be more peace in the neighborhood becoming more gentrified. The people that are coming in uh, have more money, so they're uh, creating a, a, a better business base for uh, businesses to succeed. One of our favorite interviews was with the musician Voice of Harlem. He lived in his neighborhood for 25 years. It's changing a bit. New people coming in, old people going out. Um, good for some, bad for others. But you know, in reality, it's just how life is. That's how some people feel about East Harlem. But for all of them, East Harlem is home.